welcome back. Well, we are back with a Sylvanian family's calico critters family of bunnies called the cottontail rabbit family. And these are beautiful gray rabbits that I had not seen in calico critters. I found them on a website called smallable.com. You can go back and see the uh, unboxing I did and see all six sets that we ordered from Smallable. And I'll bring some of those out uh, today too after we open up these bunnies. And I totally ruined that part of the package, so that's super disappointing. But he has already been technically removed, so let's take him out first. And I love the design of these bunnies. At first, I thought maybe they're the same as the Seabreeze rabbits, but they're not. I'll show you a comparison. And so this little bunny rabbit comes with this blue rocker thingamajig catalog, an old catalog, very fun, and a little baby bottle. It's not gonna focus, is it? I've got too much going on in the background there. There we go, little baby bottle. Little cottontail rabbit. You notice the little white on his face, on the bottom half of his face, and you notice his ears are gray with uh, pink in the middle. Or is this a girl? I don't know. Is there a name on here? Doesn't say. Sure, I could look it up. If you know the name of any of these cottontail rabbits, I'd love to know, so please put it in the description. So those are the co that's the uh, cottontail. Let me show you the sea breeze. Now you can see her cheeks have that little white marking and her ears have a little white, can you tell in this light? Her ears, that's easier to tell there. Her ears have that white tip. Unlike the cottontail, which is pure gray with more white on the face, whereas these ones have it on the cheeks. So they are slightly different. So let's open up this family and take a closer look. There they are, what a beautiful background. I feel like all the sets I've opened recently have just had these gorgeous backdrops. Very nice, and these are very easy to remove. And finally, brother, brother Cottontail, coming down the bunny trail. pull out the furniture that we got in our smallable haul so you can take a look at that too. All right, so included with this order, we got the children's bedroom set. This is a more or less common set, so I'm not gonna do a full unboxing of it. All right, let's get that positioned over there. Move these bunnies out of the way. So this set is actually quite, uh, it's been around for a while, I should say. And we got it brand new at Smallable, I think for $14. But I especially love the comforters on these, bed, on these beds. It's kind of starchy. I'm 
just a really crisp, clean look and really nice colors. Kind of a hunter green. You can see that green color in there. I bet most of you watching this are very familiar with this set. I just happen to not be because we haven't had it. All right, and it came with not one, but two fuzzy wuzzy bears. These are a frock just like the critters. They are so cute. Ah! I drop so many critters. And then here's this one. And this can be where brother and sister go to bed. And now we need the bed for baby. Very cute little crib. It has a mattress in here, kind of in a felty material. Very comfy looking. And this beautiful little bunny pillow or bear pillow in the same material. It has two drawers. Now this crib design is also pretty common. In fact, we have one just like it. It did come with this same blanket. This one currently has a different blanket on it. And it came with this pillow, but with pink ears. But it's the exact same bed mold. You can see the little moons on the side. It's a very lovely little crib. And this will be little baby's bed. So we'll put that railing up nice and safe. Get his pillow ready. And we'll need his bottle. Little pink bottle. Where is it a she? I wonder if it's a she. There you go, little one. And a beautiful blanket. It almost has a terry cloth um, fabric. I think it is terry cloth. A very soft terry cloth, though. Get him all tuckered in. Oh my goodness. Very cute. All right. Oh, and here's his lovey. There's the third lovey. I almost forgot. How could I? And this one is a bunny. So we have a squirrel, a bear under here, and a bunny for baby, which is perfect because he's a bunny. And along with this order, we got this teeny tiny little high chair. And this one has been around for a while. All three of these have. Let me show you this real quick because it's really cool. And it's, it's seen, it feels like very delicate. Like, almost like it could be broken or something, but it's very durable. So it just has that like really high quality feel to it, almost like wood, but you know, it's plastic and it's durable. Isn't that beautiful? You can tell it's been painted it's not just white pla plastic. And you can really tell it's been painted when you try to put this in because it has a little bit of friction. But it does snap in there very nicely. And I just thought this was a beautiful little addition to our Critterland. I think it was $6. Might have been 7 Could have been as much as 8 I just don't remember. But it wasn't much. And it's got these little tiny little dishes. And baby can have a snack there when he wakes up. All right, and then finally, we got this bath and shower set. And I'm not gonna go into too much depth on this unboxing it because it's pretty common. Oh wow, the shower curtain is really cool. It's like actual shower curtain material. All right, let me take these little pieces out of the packaging and I'll give you a closer look. All right, and here is the little bathroom set. Really like these designs of shower heads, these older designs, compared to the newer one, which, I mean, there's a stark contrast. This is from the, um, what do you call it? The new uh, green or blue bathroom. And it's one piece, it really looks plasticky. Um, rather than paint it, they just use like gold pigment in the plastic and it's got this like kind of translucent, it just looks like plastic. 
and it's one piece, you can't move the knobs or anything. Um, whereas with this older one, uh, granted, you can't move the knobs, but you can, you know, turn this, you know, kind of like pretending it's a knob and this is removable. It's just got a lot more detail. So I really hope that Sylvanians aren't slipping on their um, level of detail. And this, I have no idea what it is. I thought maybe it was just a piece of plastic that, you know, from like the production process that fell in there, but it is actually listed on the package. Maybe it's some sort of like bath product that people in different countries might recognize. I have no idea. So we'll put that in the basket for now. So a whale. There's lots of cute stuff in there. A little tiny piece of soap. I knew that would happen. I already knew it would happen. All right, well, I'm dying to see what this little outfit looks like on her. Oh boy. Wow. I just get so excited about calico curves. It's like I'm a little kid, but oh my gosh. How cute is that? Very cute. So she can enjoy her little bubble bath. All right. Well, that's our entire smellable order. And uh, I didn't plan it this way, but they all kind of go together. <laughs> so thanks for taking a look and I'll see you next time.